All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So we are officially one day away from the start of Global's five year anniversary. And the time has finally come for me to give my fellow Global players a quick preview, a quick taste of what many people still consider the best unit in the entire game, LR Vegito Blue. Now, if you're curious, I did already do a showcase for LR Blue Gogeta yesterday, so feel free to go check that out as well. And honestly, I'm more excited for the Gogeta compared to the Vegito, but at the same time, I actually think that Vegito is slightly better than Gogeta. So I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that I gotta get both. All right, there's no other option. I have to pull both of them. So definitely expect a ton of summoning videos and probably a lot of shafts coming up on the channel over the next few weeks. And once it's all said and done, by the end of this anniversary, no matter what the cost, I will have both of the LR Blue Boys in my collection. Wait, Blue Boys. And that happens every single time. Every single time I try to say Blue Boys quickly, it becomes Blue Boys. Why? What is that? Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm definitely going to get both of them. All right, so stay tuned for that. And uh, getting back on track, let's jump into the showcase here. We got LR Vegito Blue on our screen. Absolutely glorious art here. Just beautiful. And let's see what he's all about. So as you can see, we're running a Realm of Gods team. You can really run a ton of teams with him. You can do, you know, Last Resort. You can do Kamehameha, a Transformation Boost, so on and so forth. This dude is on like almost all of the best teams in the game but today i felt like doing realm of gods because we can run both of the vegeto blues we got the fizz vegeto blue we got the tech vegeto blue so i mean in my opinion you know we got the best lr and the best tur on one rotation so i can't wait to run it on my own account and we're gonna start here with a full 24 key super a little overkill because goku's almost dead but uh that's okay that's okay, here we go. No support, by the way, so it's not as high as it could be, but should still be pretty good. All right, there we go, 2.48 million. If we had a support on rotation, that would have been, you know, easily over 3 million, I think. So his attack pre-transformation is pretty comparable to uh, the LR Gogeta we saw yesterday. And the awesome thing is that the next time this dude comes back, he will be transforming into LR Vegito Blue because we got him on the second rotation. So next turn would be the fourth turn from the start of battle and we'll get that Vegito Blue, just like that. Now, before we get that transformation, let me read the uh, base form Vegito passive to you guys so that everybody's on the same page. Uh, his passive is attack and defense plus 70%. Key plus three when attacking and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and that's 25% chance. And then as the third attacker in a turn, he has a high chance, which is 50% of evading enemies attack, and then transform when conditions are met, which is of course, fourth turn or beyond, just like right now, there we go. And you might notice if you guys watched yesterday's showcase that this guy has the exact same passive as LR Gogeta pre-transformation. They literally have like, the exact same passive there's no difference but once they transform it's a little bit different all right and obviously it's the passive here that makes me think that vegeto is a little bit better than gogeta it's not a huge difference but i do think he is better okay so before i get into that let's uh let's give him this full 24 key super here beautiful we got the support this time so yeah some pretty good damage on the way pay attention guys here we go First super as Vegito Blue, 3.6 mil. 3.6 mil. Pretty solid. Now, we're gonna get a second super here. Guaranteed 2.6 mil. So you add 3.6, 2.6, that's 6.2, right? 6.2. And then additional from the, the hidden potential right there. Okay, so three attacks, two supers, probably around 7 million on the first turn. That he transforms so keep in mind all right the reason i'm impressed by that is because he builds attack and defense as he attacks just like Ogita. so 
Um, he starts off with only 77% attack and defense. He gets a bonus key plus two and then launches an additional guaranteed super attack. And he gets an additional key plus one and attack and defense plus 7% with each attack performed up to a maximum of five key and 77% attack and defense. But because of the way that the additional attack and defense is calculated, he actually gets a grand total of 213% uh, attack and defense after 11 attacks, just like uh, Gogeta from yesterday. So what you guys saw there is just the tip of the iceberg, man. It's just the start. And this dude can do way more damage than what you saw. Now I know this rotation is all messed up, because I don't really care about the rotation. I just want to get to the next turn with the Vegito, so don't mind this. I'm just trying to, trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Um, active skill, of course. Active skill, same condition as Vegito. Or sorry, Gogeta. Yo, how many times did I say Gogeta when I meant to say Vegito? And the other way around. Uh, anyway, same as Gogeta. He greatly raises attack and causes ultimate damage. And it can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less. Starting from the next attacking turn after he transforms, just like right now. You know what? I would I would like to save this, but I'm not going to. Mm, actually, should I save this? Maybe I should. Maybe I should, I'm thinking. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna save it because I don't know when the next time we will be able to, you know, have him on rotation when the enemy has less than 50% HP. So we're gonna, we're gonna launch it here. Let me put, uh, put a stop to my own music for a second and turn up the game music here so you guys can hear the beautiful voice line the beautiful you know effects and all that stuff enjoy i'ma shut up here we go <laughs> bro it's so sick oh i i need to stop talking i need to shut up okay i'm good Dude, dude, that's ah, oh, it's too good, man. It's too good. Um, oh, I was trying to say something, I forgot. Okay, so same condition, right, as Gogeta. But one thing I did fail to mention in the previous video is that uh, what you can do with both Gogeta and Vegito is if you pop their active skill as you know the like with the with them in the third slot man i'm messing this up real bad okay basically if you have them in the third slot of the turn that they can get their active skill off and you pop the active skill with them in the third slot right they can actually get their full passive activated so essentially for gogeta and vegeto they both launch an additional super attack right as the third attack in a turn and have a high chance to dodge but if you pop their active skill with them in the third slot, then it counts them as being the third attacker in the turn. And then you can pop them back into the first or second slot, and they can get that additional, you know, stacking of attack and defense, that additional attack from being in the first and second slot, and all that stuff. So essentially for Vegito, I don't know, I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, if, if it makes sense to you. Like in my mind it makes sense, but like my words might not be coming out correctly, but Basically, with Vegito, if you do that, if you pop the active skill in the third slot and then move him back to the first or second slot, you can actually get three guaranteed super attacks. Because you get one from being in the third slot and then one more from being in the second slot. And then you can actually get another super attack from the hidden potential system. So in theory, in theory, Vegito Blue would be able to super four times in that turn. You know, if you get lucky. But three of those are guaranteed. So at least three on the turn that you pop the active skill. So it's just crazy. Like the, the damage output potential on that turn when you pop the active skill is outrageous, right? The only thing, the only issue with that is I don't think there's really any stage, maybe with, with the exception of MUI at the end here, that would survive that, right? Like you use the active skill, they would already be below 50% HP for you to actually pop the active skill. We got triple super here. All right, so even though we didn't do the whole, you know, active skill in the third slot thing, like I said, we still got three supers that turn. So that was pretty sweet. Over 10 million attack easily. Um, 
Wait, what, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, I don't know if there's any enemies in the game that can survive that, with the exception of maybe the uh, LR UI, the UI Goku at the end of this event, because obviously he has type advantage. So if Vegito doesn't crit, then we can still probably see all those attacks. But for the most part, there are very few, all right, very few enemies in the game that can survive a Vegito active skill and then also survive three more supers for you to get that fourth super. But is at his full potential, right? Like if you're able to get all those attacks off, Vegito can do the active skill, the final Kamehameha, do like a bajillion damage, and then super three times guaranteed, and then also super a fourth time from the hidden potential system. So active skill plus four supers is his max like output. And man, it's just crazy to think about. It's crazy to think about, man. Okay, um, so yeah, I wanted to make sure you guys knew that. I wanted to make sure to get that out there in case anybody uh, wasn't aware and wanted to try that out once you pull your Vegito. And I'm trying to be positive here. I know, you know not everybody's going to be able to pull Vegito, but, you know, let's just assume that everybody does. All right, let's, say, assume, let's assume you're going to. Then try it out and just see what craziness this man can can do like what he can output and even without that trick of course he's still being crazy right we're up to 5.45 mil now for the first super and then you know he's gonna get the additional super guaranteed actually goku might be dead so we not we might not be able to see much more but you guys I mean, you guys can see why i think he's the best unit in the game right like i'm not i'm not just you know falling to the hype or you know, just talking out of my butt, like, <laughs> I mean it, I mean it when I say, I still think, I still legitimately think he's the best unit in the game, I have good reason to think so, I know some people think it's SSBE and SSBKK, I know some people think it's LRUI Goku, and that's valid, alright, that's your opinion, that's okay, but it's just, to me, to me, Vegito is the best, oh crap, oh man, I did not want to use the, uh, Oh crap. Okay. I did not want to use the Dokkan attack for Beerus, but wasn't paying attention. I was getting too excited about Vegito, so that's my bad. Um if he was to to Dokkan attack here, it would have been something crazy, but you've already seen enough craziness. There's already enough craziness. There can this there can only be so much Vegito destruction and domination in one video. So Let's just say I purposely uh, gave the token attack to Beerus so that, you know, things didn't get too crazy. Anyways, um, we're going to do one more attack here with Vegito and then I think we're going to call it a day because there's really not much more for you to see. And, you know, that's going to be that, guys. Let me know in the comments down below, alright? I mean, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, let me know right now in this video how many stones you got. I'm really curious, all right? How many stones you got for the Dual Dokkan Fest, for the LR Blue Fusions? And uh, are you willing to buy more stones? Like how many more stones are you gonna have once you buy the sales and all that stuff? Man, I love this guaranteed additional super, man. Oh, it's so sick. Oh, nope, no triple super. All right, we got one turn of triple super, which was, which, which was sweet. But like I said, man, he can get up to four super attacks in addition to the uh in addition to the active skill the only issue is once again not many people can survive that to like survive enough supers to actually get you like allow you to get all the all attacks off because you know for the most part right like, like if when, when you hit an enemy with almost any enemy with that active skill they're pretty much dead if they're not dead they're almost dead and then you, you launch an additional super attack and that's it, right? Like, no, nobody's going to be surviving a second, a third super for you to get that fourth super off. But if they do, um, that's awesome. And I hope to see that at some point once the guy actually drops on global and I can, like, play with him a little bit more on my, on my main account, obviously. But today, the whole purpose is to get you guys hyped, get you guys excited, show you guys, you know, what this guy can do. And uh, also wish you luck. Wish you guys all the best luck, or wait, wish all of you guys the best of luck in your summons. I really hope that nobody gets shafted too bad. I mean, if somebody's going to get shafted, it's going to be me. All right, if anybody is going to get shafted 
on their summons. It's gonna be me. That's just how it usually goes. Okay, I lied. We're gonna do one more turn here. Uh, almost 200,000 defense now. That's actually really good. And we can get him a full 24 key super once he... Wait, actually... Oh yeah, he will. He'll, he'll get a 24 key super. Okay, so 24 key super with the support. This will be the last turn. Granted, we might die if we get supered, which is what's happening right now. So, uh, that's a shame if we do die. Survive. Come on. Oh, wow. That is not how you want to go out. <laughs> that is not how you want to go out. Okay. Well, as you can see, um, LRUI, still a problem. Still a problem. Why do you keep calling him LR? MUI, MUI Goku at the end of the event. Still a problem. Got to be careful with that. Obviously, if I was doing a normal run, I probably would have, you know, popped an item or something. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. It just means that it's time to go. The showcase is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are hyped. A uh, couple more days, guys. A couple more days before the banners drop. It's going to get crazy. Expect a ton of content on the channel, of course. If you guys want to see all the summoning videos, all the collabs, all the gameplay videos, all the info videos, whatever, all that stuff I make for this upcoming five-year anniversary, then make sure to subscribe to the channel now. Smash that sub button, join the Tiger Squad, get us to five... No, getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. 100k subs, not 500. 500 comes later. 100k subs by the end of the five-year anniversary. And... Uh, that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. If you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.